You all are welcome to this heartbreaking presentation of mine. You must be wondering, why is this presentation a heartbreaking one? You are going to find out why we progress. First, I have one question for two people. This question that I want to ask is giving me sleepless nights. The first person I want to ask this question is Simon Eber. Why the second set of people that I'm going to be asking this question are followers of Simon Eber? Simon Eber, I come to you. Simon, you said you are Mazen now the kind of follower. In your exact words, you said that you are Mazen now the kind of disciple. Simon Eba, are you aware that there are some women in your caucus that are calling Mazen Nambi Kano's wife a prostitute and a criminal? Are you aware of that? I come to Simon Eba's followers. Simon Eba follower, are you aware that there are some women Simon Eba is working with that are calling your leader's wife a prostitute and a criminal on a daily basis in their broadcast? Are you aware of that as a follower of Simon Eber? I await your response. Simon, I waited for you to condemn those women. But you were silent. I was very patient enough for you to admonish those women publicly for calling them now the kind of wife, a criminal and a prostitute. But Simon Eber, you disappointed me as usual. Simon Elba's followers. I know that you people heard that there are women calling your leader's wife a prostitute. I waited for you to raise alarm. I waited for you to admonish the women. But all of you pretended like you did not hear. And you people are still telling me that you love Mazen Nam the Khan. No, you don't love him. You people don't love him. You guys are pretenders. Simon, I am an evil woman. I'm an African woman. There are some things that we don't take in my tradition, Igbo land, in my culture. When a woman is married traditionally. Nam Bikano is away somewhere in DSS custody. And it's expected that the wife will be protected by Biafrans. Instead of protecting a Nam Dekano wife, Nam Dekano wife is publicly humiliated by your people, Simon Eber. Now, if there is any gift I have given myself in this life, it is the gift of truth and sincerity. I don't follow people sheepishly. Simon, the fact that I follow you, the fact that I like what you are doing, does not mean that when you are doing evil, I will not come out to condemn what you are doing. Simon Eber. I don't follow people that are on the wrong path of life. I call a spade a spade anytime, any day, anywhere. I don't care who you are. When it's time for me to admonish you, I will come out and do it. And I don't do it secretly. I do it publicly. That is who I am. I wasn't created to Tolerating rubbish from people. Simon Eber, you are doing rubbish today. Simon Eber, you are on the wrong path and that path will lead you to destruction. Your blind followers will not see what I am saying. Your blind followers are so gullible and ignorant. They are so daft I have seen them. They know that what you are doing is not good. You are not on the right path. But they will not come out to condemn you. In this part I have chosen in my life, I don't have a friend. I don't have a friend. I have never compromised my standard of who I am. I don't make friends so that I will come out to condemn you because I'm a friend to somebody. I don't do like that. I don't have a friend because when it's time for me to tell you the truth, I don't care who you are. I don't care how related you are to me. I tell you the truth to your face. That is how I am created. Simon, I have watched you closely. And today I am telling the public that Simon Eba is not passionate about Biafra. I know so many of your gullible fans and so many of your gullible followers 
that are so useless that will come out to insult their mother. That is not saying the truth that I am saying today. So many of your followers will cry, cry of, of nowhere to come back. You will cry forever and ever cry because you don't like to hear the truth. Simon Eber is not passionate about Biafra. Simon Eber, you are not passionate about Mars and Nam the Khan because I have watched you closely. The fact you have refused to condemn those women means you don't want Nam the Khan to be released out of DSS custody. Simon Eber, why will you allow women to condemn a woman that her husband has not condemned? Why should you people condemn Namdi Kanu wife when your husband is still in DSS? Namdi Kanu is not yet dead. The last time I checked, Namdi Kanu never told us that the wife is a criminal. Namdi Kanu never told us that the wife is a prostitute. Why are you publicly insulting and assaulting your leader's wife and you claim you love him? You cannot love Namdi Kanu and insult his wife. That is not love. That is hypocrites. You are being hypocritical with whatever you are doing. You are a pretender, just like the Pharisees and the Sadducees in the Bible. You are a liar. You are not genuine. Simon Eber, you are not sincere. You are lying to be upfront. Time shall tell, they will see what I am saying. I am a very honest person. When I tell you the truth, that is the truth. Our people are not... Illiteracy and poverty is not allowing our people to see the truth. Our people are so backward. Our people are so daft. That they follow people anyhow they are. They swallow whatever the person tell them. Hook, line, and sink, and they don't question the person. Because I see them. They see the way those women are insulting and now they can't wise. And they kept quiet. That is the way our people are. You cannot get freedom when you cover crime. Freedom will never come your way. When you are managing and harboring the people insulting your leader's wife. You are not a pure person. Freedom will never come. In Igbo land... Every Igbo man protects his wife against external aggression. Every Igbo man reference and respect and love his wife. He don't want people to insult his wife. And when that man is not around, the community should protect that woman. A woman that ties two rappers in Igbo land. Once a woman is married in Igbo land, she's not tying two rappers. That is the integrity of that woman. Your rapper that you are tying as a married woman is a honor to your husband. A woman traditionally married in Igbo land. Your leader wife, your leader is away and the wife is supposed to be protected. But she is not protected. Let me talk about Bianca Ojuku. When Obiano wife confronted Bianca Ojuku, I saw the way Biafrans protected Bianca. I saw the way Bianca was protected because she is Ojuku wife. Because she is late Odumegu Ojuku wife. So why is it hard for Biafrans to protect Uchechi Kanu that these shameless women are calling criminal and prostitute? Why is it hard for you people to protect Uchechi Kanu? My duty is to, to defend the defendless. I know that Uchechi Kanu cannot come out to defend herself she might not be a social media person but luckily she has somebody like me that would defend her anytime any day anywhere you don't have the right to call you church a prostitute in public you don't have the rights who the hell are you who the hell are you to call you church a criminal you are who are you you don't love a Kanu and you are evil and you should be avoided Avoid anybody that is calling a Nambi Kanu wife a criminal and a prostitute. I'm warning you people. I'm telling you, but it will clear from your eyes. Take anything I am saying today, word for word. Save it. It will come back. You are going to see it. Avoid any person that is calling a Nambi Kanu wife a prostitute. Avoid anybody that is harboring people that are insulting your leader's wife. Those people cannot be trusted. Simon never cannot be trusted. Simon, you said you are doing expose. You are exposing Nigerian government. How can you do expose when you have not exposed the people around you, insulting your leader's wife? Charity, they said, begins at home. Why will you flush Nigerian government when you are yet to flush the people, constituting news and surround you, the people insulting your leader's wife? How can you do expose when you have not exposed the things, the dirty environment that you are in? You are in a dirty environment, Simon Eva. You are in a dirty atmosphere.
atmosphere. You don't want to condemn the people around you and you want to expose the Nigerian government. What do you know? Simon Eba, I just realized that you know nothing. You know nothing. You, are, you have a very soft heart. Soft people can never be freedom fighters. Soft people can never be a freedom fighter. Simon Eba, you allow people to insult Mazen Namdi Khan's wife. You don't love Namdi Khan. You are not passionate about Biafra. You are not passionate about freedom of the people. And you don't love Biafra people. You are only pretending, but time shall tell. They will see it. Some of your useless, gullible followers will see it someday. Simon, I see the way women push you around. I see the way women are threatening you. They tell you what you are doing. I have all the clips. I have everything right inside my phone. I see the way they threaten you, Simon Eba, in Igbo land where I come from. A woman doesn't tell a man what a man will do. In a place where I come from, in Igbo land, as an Igbo woman and an African woman that honors and respects her husband and our men, a woman doesn't control a man in Igbo land. A man takes charge of his family. Simon Eba, you're not in charge of your life. Some women are in charge of you. On a normal day, you are going to admonish those women, insulting them now, become a wife. But because you don't have a say, you have lost your voice. You no longer have a voice. That is why you are just looking. Simon Eber, in Igbo land, even if a man is a billionaire, even if a woman is a billionaire and the husband is a poor man, wretched man, that woman that is a billionaire must come down to the level of her husband. That is Igbo tradition. A woman reverences and respects her husband. Come down to the level of her husband. While a man stands like a dogu, our men are strong men. Our men have pride. They don't allow women to control them. I hate weak men. Simon Eber, you are a weak man. I don't like weak men. I don't follow weak men. I don't follow men that doesn't have a voice of their own. I like when a man is in charge. I love when a man is taking charge of everything that is happening around him. You are not in charge. How can women be controlling you and you want me to follow your type of person? Simon Eba. It took Delilah one scissors to cut the hair of Samson. And Samson remained powerless and useless. Samson was once the strongest man. But Delilah, an evil woman, came into his life and his failure started. Simon. Adam was a clean man until Eve came into his life and gave him just one apple. Adam started sinning against God. Adam started saying things. That is, the, that is the origin of Adam's suffering. Immediately Eve gave Adam apple. The suffering of Adam started that very day. The failure of Adam started that very day. The retrogression of Adam started that very day because an evil woman entered his life. Simon, a man that is controlled by a woman will never succeed. A man that a woman pushes around will never guarantee freedom. Any man that is controlled by a woman will fail. Once a woman is controlling you, you will fail. Our men take charge. You are not in charge. You are a weak man. You are weak. I see the way they threaten you. They are threatening you. You don't have a voice. I don't know what you are protecting. I don't know what you are hiding. But I think you are not genuine. I think you are hiding something from Biafrans and so, uh, from your gullible followers that don't that see the truth, but they package it. The, they, they see truth. They know that this thing is not good, but they package it. Diary of a black man, so useless. Simon Eba. A man that a woman is controlling can never give freedom to the people. You said we are slaves in Nigeria, but you are a slave to a woman. How can a slave give a, his fellow slave freedom? A slave cannot, can never give another slave freedom. You said we are slaves in Nigeria and you are a slave to a woman. So how can you guarantee my freedom when you are also a slave? Before you give me freedom, you have to come out of slavery. You are in bondage, Simon Eva. You are in captive. Bondage of women. They determine what you are saying and what you are doing. Even if you have good intention, the fact that women have taken charge over your life, you are not going to succeed as a freedom fighter. You are going to fail woefully as a freedom fighter.
Your people are going to wait for 50 years for you to give them freedom. They don't know you are not ready for freedom. You have to be passionate about something before you get it right. You are not ready, Simon Eva. You are a weak man. You are weak. You don't have passion. A man that has passion doesn't allow women to come into his life and take charge over his life. Women calling your, your leader's wife a prostitute and you kept quiet, looking like, at, at them like Dundee. Looking at them like only oh, lady. No, you can't give me freedom. You can never guarantee my freedom. No, you, my freedom is not in your hands. You can't give me freedom. How can I have a strong voice? I don't listen to people. And somebody like you that a woman can easily deceive, give me freedom. It's not possible. Simon never can never give you freedom. Beloved Biafra, so unfortunately I am here to announce to you all that Simon Eva does not have what it takes to give anybody freedom. You might not see what I'm saying now, but you're going to see it later. Time shall tell. I like Simon Eva way, but I have watched him closely. He does not have anything. He does not have anything within him to give me freedom. He might give you freedom, but my freedom is not in the hands of Simon Eva with this approach. This is not the approach of a freedom fighter. The way I'm looking at you, you are weak. I love strong men. I don't do, I don't deal with weak men. I love men that are strong. I don't like men that women control. A slave cannot give another slave freedom. Because of that, I can't trust you again, Simon Eber. To all of your fans, to all the people that want to trust Simon Eber, I wish you all the best. You can trust him. But time shall tell. But today I want to tell you, whoever it is that is calling Mazen Namdekan wife a prostitute and a criminal, you have to stop it. Stop it. Stop it today. Stop calling her a prostitute and a criminal. Don't expect that Namdekan will come out of DSS custody knowing fully whether you call his wife a criminal and you expect him to work with you. It can never happen. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Where I come from in Igbo land, a married woman is respected and you don't call her names and if you're a follower of Simon Eber and you still support what he is doing you still support the fact that women are calling his wife Mazen Namdekan wife names and he said he's okay with you you are evil and you don't love Namdekan you are also a pretender and you are a typical African black wicked evil man I rest my case for now while I await your response